I'm Nick Florco and I'm stats reporter on the Commercial Determinants of Health. And we're at the FDA's campus and the bus is here, so we're gonna do it again. I'm Nick Florco and I'm stats reporter on the Commercial Determinants of Health. And we're here at the FDA's campus in White Oak, Maryland to see how many illegal products we can buy around the FDA's headquarters. The FDA is supposed to set the rules on what drugs, devices, tobacco, and dietary supplement products are allowed to be sold in the U.S. But increasingly, there are more and more illegal products openly being sold around the country, including in the FDA's backyard. These are the ones that we found. So these right here are probably the most notorious illegal products that we found on our tour around the FDA's campus. These are Rhino sexual enhancement supplements and the FDA actually warned consumers back in 2018 not to take any product um, with this Rhino brand because they very often, when they're tested, include the ingredients in Viagra and Cialis. The FDA has reported that these products have caused people to have chest pains and other serious medical issues, but these products keep being sold. We actually bought these uh, at the 7-Eleven right near the FDA's campus. And interestingly enough, the product even says that it was made in an FDA registered facility. This one, which is called Swag, is pretty interesting for the, the sole fact that the FDA actually warned consumers not to take this product back in 2014. Uh, and actually the Baltimore Sun reported in 2015 that it was being distributed uh, by a company based in Baltimore, just a few miles actually from the FDA's campus. Um, but the product is still pretty ubiquitous. We actually found this at more than one gas station. Uh, and the FDA, by the way, has warned consumers not to take this because it also includes the ingredient in Viagra, despite the fact that the supplement facts actually say that it contains caterpillar fungus. So this here is Kratom. And the FDA has been fighting a losing battle against Kratom for, at this point, nearly a decade. They've warned countless companies to stop selling these products. They've even worked with U.S. Marshals to seize Kratom products at the border. Uh, the FDA says that this is a dangerous product because it acts on the body like an opioid. Uh, and there's pretty good data to suggest that people are being harmed by these products. Interestingly enough, the product even says on the back that it's an unapproved dietary ingredient. So this here is illegal cough syrup. Uh, the main ingredient in this product, Ambroxol, isn't approved for use in over-the-counter cough syrups here in the U.S. At least two infant deaths were caused by this product. Ambroxol is not approved for over-the-counter use and cannot legally be sold in the United States. The FDA says that CBD is a prescription drug and that it cannot be put in dietary supplements, in foods, and yet we got these gelato flavor gummies at the smoke shop. These actually say that they have both CBD and Delta-8 in them, which are two different compounds from the cannabis plant. Pretty clearly an illegal product. We couldn't help but buy another Delta-8 product as well, because who could resist a product whose brand name is literally Barely Legal Hemp Company? And this little guy here is a cannabis chocolate. This one advertises having Delta-9 THC and HHC, which is another compound from the cannabis plant. So this here is not, despite its label, some sort of Family Guy merchandise. It's actually a disposable vape that we bought at Exxon. Almost all of the vape products being sold in the US right now are considered illegal because the FDA hasn't given sellers the formal go-ahead to start selling. So this here isn't a tobacco product or a drug, it's skin whitening cream. But this too is actually illegal. And we bought this one at a Walgreens near the FDA's campus. It includes the active ingredient hydroquinone, which the FDA has said can't be put in a cosmetic product and that there are serious risks for doing so. So as you can tell, it's, it was quite a haul of products that we were able to find being illegally sold right outside of the FDA's campus. And I think what this shows is despite the fact that the FDA is supposed to be charged with making sure that the products we put inside our body are safe, companies are openly flouting those rules and 
they're doing it right in the FDA's backyard. I mean, look at all these products.